This is the Mercedes-Benz F015 Luxury in Motion. It's Mercedes' autonomous concept car. And as you can see, it's pretty unusual. So just going on a quick walk around. Um, it's about the size externally of uh, an S-Class Mercedes, but the proportions are entirely different. They've pushed the wheels out to the very corners, and these wheels are, are huge because of the, the overall teardrop shape of the car. They needed to give it big wheels because you don't have the kind of three or two block um, profile. Instead, you just get this sort of bubble meniscus-like shape, which gives a huge amount of space in, uh, inside, and you need that for the four seats, which uh, kind of individually rotate. Front and back, uh, they have these different multicolor LED uh, displays, and these can, uh, are shown. Uh, they obviously uh, show the usual things like when you're braking, that kind of thing. But they can also show um, status messages to the drivers behind. So if there's uh, peril up ahead or some, a pedestrian maybe crossing the road, it can flash up stop on the back. It's covered in sensors um, and cameras, 360 degree cameras. The sort of hump on the top contains various different antennas for things like GPS and navigation, ultrasonics, and that's what lets the car know whereabouts it is on the road. And then, obviously, the huge thing on the outside are these enormous uh, saloon doors, as Mercedes calls them. Uh, these special hinges so that they can both open independently, and uh, there are buttons on the inside and also sensors on the outside on the doors for you to control them. And, and once you get inside, you have these four big leather thrones. This is the front of the car facing forward, but as you can see, the seats here are facing back, and this is what Mercedes call lounge mode. And the idea is that when the car is doing its thing and focusing on the road ahead, uh, you can do your thing and, and be chatting. And you have um, a, a table in between that you can pull out. Um, you can use all four of these different door displays. There are screens, a widescreen display in the front, and um, a screen at the back as well. And the idea is that you just have this entire area to play with, lots and lots of headroom, lots and lots of displays lock out various different multimedia options and making it really like a lounge on wheels so that you don't have to focus on the driving if you don't want to uh, instead you can just focus on uh, what you want to do while you're on the move so we're inside the f015 and it's quite an unusual experience the the car is driving it's actually following a preset route at the moment but we can adjust the speed that it goes out moving down from kind of a relaxed mode up into dynamic and increase the pace that we're moving around this airstrip as you can see I'm actually traveling backwards, that's because we've rotated these seats forward um, of reverse so I can see it kind of in a lounge mode. Um, or I can be facing the front and I can take hold of the wheel and I could drive if I wanted to. But the whole idea of uh, Mercedes concept is that I don't need to drive and I can be getting on with other things in kind of my own little personal bubble of space. So I have these four displays built into the doors. I have a huge um, rear projection screen in the dashboard. There's another screen right at the back and you have this 360 degree view, uh, which is running actually from uh, a variety of different computers that have been built into the car. And altogether it means that my experience in here doesn't have to be dominated by what's going out on the road outside the car's doing that all itself and i can carry on either enjoying some music or i can get on with some work while i'm traveling